Hi, I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Welcome to the airport. This is a very busy place. People coming and going, planes landing and taking off. Helicopters, seaplanes, jet airplanes, hangars. There's so much to explore at the airport, so let's get going. The reader board keeps passengers updated on all the flights. It shows which flights are arriving or coming in, and if they're on time. It also shows which flights are departing or leaving the airport. Reading lights give people plenty of light, so they can read books, magazines, and newspapers. On the airplane, each seat has its own reading light up above. Passengers can turn the light on if they want to read, and turn it off if they don't need it. A refrigerator keeps food and drinks cold. Keeping food in a refrigerator helps it stay fresh longer. Refrigerators come in many different sizes. Some refrigerators, like the ones in airplanes, are very small and can sit on top of or under a counter. Other refrigerators are as big as a room. The restroom on an airplane is like a bathroom at home, but it usually doesn't have a shower or bathtub. The restroom has a sink, which is also called a washbowl for washing hands. It also has a toilet. Another word for restroom is lavatory. A roll-up door rolls up instead of swinging open from the side. It is on a track so that workers can roll it up and down with ease. Roll-up doors are used when the door has to be kept out of the way. The rotor blades of a helicopter spin around or rotate to lift the helicopter into the air. Because the helicopter has rotor blades instead of wings, it can fly straight up into the air and can turn easily. Rotor blades allow helicopters to hover, which means they can stay in one place above the ground. The rudder is on the back of the fin. Using the rudder and ailerons, the pilot can turn the plane to the left or right. A runway is a long strip of land used by airplanes when they land and take off at the airport. Runways are flat and smooth, so the planes can take off and land safely. Most runways have lights on either side, so that planes can take off and land at night. Another word for runway is airstrip. Along the side of each runway are runway edge lights. The runway edge lights are placed all along the runway and shine on it. The lights help the pilot see the runway when it's dark, foggy, or in rain or snow. Scaffolding is used to help workers get to high places. Workers at the airport can climb up on the scaffolding to wash windows, paint, or do repair work on the plane. A scale is used to weigh packages and luggage before they're put on the plane. Everything is weighed because there is a limit to how much weight can be added to the plane before it is overloaded and unsafe to fly. Luggage checked in at the airport is given a baggage ticket with a barcode on it. The barcode has special symbols that say where the luggage should go. The scanner is a machine that reads the barcode to find out which airplane the luggage should be loaded onto. It sends the information to the pusher. A seaplane is a special kind of plane that can land and take off from water. Seaplanes can stay on top of the water because they have floats underneath that keep them from sinking. A seaplane is sometimes called a float plane. A seat is something that a person sits on. A chair is a type of seat. Benches and sofas are also kinds of seats. On an airplane, each passenger is assigned his or her own seat for the trip. Seat belts keep drivers and passengers safe. Seat belts hold people in close to their seat. 
This way, they can't fall out of their seats if there's a quick stop or an accident. The seat pocket is a storage place for each passenger. Inside the seat pocket is a safety guide which shows what to do in an emergency. There may also be a magazine that the airline prints especially for its passengers. A security camera is a special video camera that is used in an area that needs to be kept safe, like a parking garage. When there are many security cameras in different parts of the parking garage, a guard can look at the pictures from all of the cameras at once and be on the lookout for people who might need help. A service trolley is a little cart on wheels that holds food and drinks. On an airplane, the flight attendant rolls the service trolley down the aisle and brings food and beverages to passengers. A sidewalk is a path that has been built for people so they can safely walk alongside a street or road. Sidewalks are usually made of cement, but can also be made of bricks or stones. A sink is shaped like a big bowl. The faucet on top brings water to the sink, which people use for drinking and for cleaning things. Sinks are used for washing hands, shaving, brushing teeth, rinsing off food, washing dishes, and even washing clothes. The sink in an airplane is usually small and is usually just used for washing hands. The two runners on the sides of the helicopter are called skids. They let the pilot land smoothly on flat or bumpy surfaces. A skycap is a worker at the airport who helps passengers with their luggage. The skycap carries the luggage, puts a baggage ticket on it with the passenger's flight number, and makes sure it gets to the right airplane. Slats are small flaps on the front edges of the wings. They are raised and lowered to help lift the plane into the air during takeoff. A spoiler is on the top surface of the wing. Spoilers are used to create drag, a force that slows down the plane while it's flying. A pilot would want to slow down the plane as the plane starts landing on the runway. When the spoilers are raised, the wind doesn't flow smoothly over the wing, and the plane can't fly as fast. The spoilers are lowered again when the pilot no longer needs to slow down the plane. The steering wheel is used only while the plane is on the ground. It lets the pilot control the direction of the wheels in the landing gear and steer the plane on and off the runway. Streets are used by people when they drive their cars, bicycles, trucks, buses, and motorcycles from one part of a city to another. In some places, even horses and buggies can be seen on the street. Sometimes parades and races are held on city streets. A strut is a bar or rod used for support. On an airplane, struts are connected to the wings to give them strength as the plane flies. Suitcases are one type of luggage. A suitcase is used to hold clothes, shoes, books, toys, and other important things that people pack and take on trips. Unless very small, suitcases should be given to the person behind the ticket counter or at a curbside check-in instead of carried on the plane. The rear of the plane, called the tail, is made up of two sections. One section, the fin, stands straight up from the tail. The other, called the tail plane, extends from each side of the fin like a pair of small wings. The tail rotor is a set of small rotor blades on the tail of the helicopter. They help turn the helicopter while it is in flight. They also keep the helicopter from spinning around and out of control when the main rotor blades are turning. The tail plane is part of the airplane's tail. It sticks out from the side like small wings. Movable flaps on the tail plane, called elevators, are raised and lowered to tilt the plane's nose up or down. This makes the plane climb higher into the air or down toward the ground. 
A taxi cab is a car that people must pay to ride in. Inside the taxi cab is a special machine called a taxi meter that keeps track of the cost of the ride. At the end of the ride, the passenger pays the driver the amount of money that shows on the taxi meter. This is called the fare. Another word for taxi cab is taxi. Pilots taxi or drive their airplane slowly along the taxiway in order to reach the runway. From the runway, airplanes take off and land. Narrow taxiways are sometimes called taxi strips. Workers in the tower use the telephone when they need to call someone for information or if someone calls them with a question. There's a lot of activity going on at the terminal. This is where passengers find out when a flight is leaving or arriving, where they need to go to get on the right plane, and which way they should go to get their luggage. Passengers can also buy tickets, books and magazines, and even meals inside the terminal. The throttle is like a gas pedal in a car. It controls the speed of the plane's engines. There are usually several levers, each one controlling a different engine. Each lever can be moved by hand, so the pilot can speed up or slow down each engine during takeoff, in flight, or when landing. A ticket shows that the passenger has paid to take a trip on the airplane. Passengers must show their ticket to the flight attendant before they are allowed to get on the plane. The ticket is printed with the name of the airline, the flight number, the name of the city where the plane will be landing, and the time the plane is supposed to take off. The ticket counter is where passengers buy tickets to take a trip. Printed on the ticket is the name of the airline company, the flight number, the name of the city where the airplane will be landing, and the time the plane will leave the airport. Here, a customer service agent can help passengers choose where they want to sit on the plane and check their luggage. The ticket desk is a counter at the gate where passengers with only carry-on baggage can check in before their plane trip. Check-in lets the flight attendants know who will be on the plane, how much food is needed, and how much fuel the plane needs. Once the passengers have checked in, they wait in the lounge until it's time for their flight to leave. The toll booth is where the controls for the toll gate are. When people drive their cars into the parking garage, they are not charged any money. But at the exit of the garage is the toll gate and the toll booth. The parking attendant takes the toll payment for the time the car was parked inside. Then the parking attendant raises the toll gate and the car can exit the parking garage. The toll gate is where drivers stop to pay their toll. When the toll has been paid, the gate lifts up so the driver can go through. The tool chest is a handy place for the mechanic to store tools. Wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, and socket sets are usually kept in a tool chest. With all the tools in a tool chest, they are easy to find the next time they are needed. Sometimes a tool chest is called a tool box. Most airplane passengers sit in tourist class during the flight. They are served meals, snacks, and drinks, and they're given newspapers and magazines to read during the flight. Tourist class is also called coach. The tractor pulls baggage carts to and from the airplanes. The tractor looks like a little car, but it has extra power for pulling heavy loads. Tray tables on airplanes are attached to the back of the seats. A passenger can lower the tray and use it as a table. When the passenger is done with the tray, it can be raised back up out of the way. A trunk is usually larger than a suitcase and has stiff square sides. Like a suitcase or duffel bag, it's used to carry things while traveling. The turbofan jet engine is a newer design. It operates like the normal jet engine, but the fan in the front sends some of the air around the engine, cooling it down and letting it run faster. The engine powers the fan once the engine starts, which makes the fan run faster and pushes air into the engine faster.
The turbofan engine is used when noise and fuel use is important. So, they are used a lot on commercial jets. Underfloor containers are used to store cargo during a flight. They keep the cargo from sliding around while the plane is moving. The underfloor stowage area is where baggage is stowed or stored during the flight. Both luggage and underfloor containers are kept here during the flight. The cargo hatch is the door to this area. The view screen, or monitor, lets the security person check baggage as it travels through the x-ray machine. He or she can see what's in each bag by watching the screen. A walkie-talkie is a radio set that lets workers in different parts of the airport talk to each other. It is battery-operated and portable, which means it can be carried around easily. A wheelchair is a seat that is attached to two large wheels and one or two small wheels. When a person's legs don't work very well, it can be hard or even impossible to walk. Wheelchairs help people who have trouble walking get wherever they want to go. A winch is a machine that is cranked or turned to lift heavy loads. By turning a rope or chain around itself, it can lift much heavier objects than someone pulling on the rope could. Usually, one end of the chain connects to the winch and the other to a hook. With the hook attached, the winch can lift even big items and put them in place, like a heavy jet engine. A window shade adjusts the amount of light coming in through a window. If the sun is too bright, the shade is pulled down. To let more light in, the shade is put up. Like the windshield on a car or truck, the windshield on an airplane keeps wind, rain, and snow out of the cockpit. Windshield wipers wipe away rain and moisture, keeping the windshield clear for the pilot. Wind socks look like big socks. At the airport, they are attached to poles, and they wave through the air when the wind blows. Pilots and air traffic controllers watch the wind socks to see how hard the wind is blowing and from which direction. This helps them decide which runways are safest for takeoff and landing. The wings on an airplane help it fly. When the airplane goes through the air, the air flows over the wings and lifts the plane. Without wings, the air wouldn't be able to lift the plane up so it could fly. When air flows over the airplane wings, it provides lift. The air pressure lifts the airplane up, making it possible to fly. Passengers who carry luggage on board with them have to have it x-rayed first. Airports use x-ray machines to see what's inside each bag. The bags are checked to make sure no one brings a weapon or a bomb on board. Ailerons are movable flaps on the wings of a plane. The pilot can raise or lower them together or one at a time to make the plane tilt to the left or right while in the air. This is called banking, and it helps the plane turn left or right. The air nozzles on a plane aim or direct air toward the passengers. They work like little fans or air conditioners. Each person can turn the air nozzle above his or her seat, letting just the right amount of cool air blow out. The air traffic controller works in the airport's tower. This person tells the pilots when it's time to land or take off. By making sure the planes come in and go when it's their turn, the air traffic controller keeps the airport running smoothly and safely. The Airbus Industries A310 is a commercial jet. It is over 153 feet long from nose to tail and measures 144 feet from wingtip to wingtip. Its engines can run the plane as fast as 556 miles per hour, although for long trips it usually goes no faster than 515 miles per hour. The A310's cabin is big enough for 210 to 265 passengers 
depending on how many seats are put in. Airplanes have been around for less than 100 years. The first planes were almost all made of cloth and wood. Today, planes are made of metal and plastic. Airplanes are heavier than air, but can fly because of their propellers or jet engines. Both jets and propeller planes are called airplanes. Planes have large wings and a long body called the fuselage. At the back of the plane is the tail, where the fin and the tail planes are. The airspeed indicator is a dial that shows how fast the plane is flying through the air. Today's jetliners or jet planes can reach speeds of 580 miles per hour. An aisle is a long clear path where people can walk. In an airplane, the aisle runs from one end of the cabin to the other, so that the passengers and the people who work on the plane can walk easily and safely through the plane. The altimeter is an instrument that tells the pilot how high the plane is flying in the air. The height a plane flies is called its altitude. The attitude director is an instrument that lets the pilot know if the plane is flying level with the ground. It shows that the plane is tilting to the left or right. It also shows that the plane is pitching or pointing up toward the sky or down toward the ground. The autopilot is an instrument that can be set by the pilot to automatically keep the plane flying in the right direction. This allows pilots to take a break from the controls and get up and stretch their legs during a long flight. An awning is a little roof, usually made of cloth, that can be rolled up or down. Sometimes there are awnings over the curbside baggage check area at the airport. The awning shades the sidewalk by blocking the hot sun. It also protects the passengers and airport workers from rain and snow. Backpacks are special bags that are made to be carried on a person's back. Books, extra clothes, and even a snack are often carried in a backpack. Backpacks usually have adjustable straps that fit over a person's shoulders. Baggage carts are like little wagons that are made especially for holding luggage. Suitcases can sometimes be heavy and hard to carry, but if they are put on a baggage cart, they're easy to move around. Baggage carts are easy to push and are a great help moving lots of heavy luggage. When all of the luggage is unloaded from the airplane, it is sent to the baggage claim area. This is where the people come after their plane ride to get their luggage. A baggage handler is a worker at the airport who makes sure the luggage gets to the same place as the passengers. The pusher moves the luggage onto the right conveyor belt, but the baggage handler takes the luggage from the conveyor belt and puts it on the baggage cart or into the underfloor stowage area on the plane. Baggage tickets are attached to passengers' luggage. The city name on the ticket shows which plane the luggage should be loaded onto, and the number on the tickets match a number on the claim ticket given to the passenger. When the plane lands, passengers go to the baggage claim area. When they see a bag that looks like theirs, they check the number on their claim ticket to see if it matches the baggage ticket. This way, they won't accidentally take someone else's bags. Baggage trailers are stacked with luggage to load onto the plane. When the plane lands at the next airport, the luggage will be unloaded from the plane back onto the baggage trailers. Then, the luggage is taken to the baggage claim area and returned to its owners. Barricades are used to keep people out of certain places. They are like fences, but they're portable, which means they can be moved around. The Bell Jet Ranger 2 is a five-passenger helicopter. Its fuselage measures about 31 feet. It doesn't have a wing-to-wing -wing measurement because it doesn't have wings. But because of how far its long top rotor and small back rotor stick out, the Jet Ranger actually is over 38 feet long. Its rotor blades can move the helicopter through the air at speeds up to 134 miles an hour.
A bench is a type of seat that is long enough for two or more people to sit on. Benches are usually found at airports and other places where there are likely to be a lot of people. Beverage is another word for drink. On an airplane, flight attendants often serve beverages to the passengers. Many people choose juice, soda, milk, tea, or coffee as their beverage during the flight. Binoculars have powerful pieces of glass called lenses. The lenses magnify things or make them look larger so that people can see objects that are far away. In the tower, the workers use binoculars to keep an eye on the airplanes as they fly in and out of the airport. A birdcage is a house for pet birds. A birdcage usually has a perch inside, which is for the bird to sit on. Some birdcages have swings, and some have mirrors, too. Canaries, parakeets, cockatiels, and lovebirds are some pet birds that live in birdcages. Blankets are fabric covers that people use to keep warm, usually when they're resting or sleeping. They come in many sizes, but most are a rectangular shape. Small blankets are kept on airplanes for passengers who get too cold. The Boeing 747 is a commercial jet. It measures over 231 feet long from nose to tail and is about 195 feet from wingtip to wingtip. It can reach a traveling speed of up to 607 miles per hour. The 747's cabin is big enough for a whopping 496 passengers, depending on how many seats are put in. Books are very popular to take along on airplane trips. That's because people have plenty of time to sit and read on their flight. Scary, funny, and even exciting stories can be found in books. Books are wonderful adventures to faraway places, and they can help people learn lots of fun new things. Border ropes are used to keep people out of certain places. The rope is a thick cord that is attached to two poles. It is portable, which means it can be moved easily from one place to another. A bus takes people from place to place. It travels on roads, but it is bigger and longer than a car and has lots of seats inside. People pay money called a fare to ride the bus. Buses usually travel from one place to another at the same time along the same streets every day. This is called a bus route. The cabin is the space inside an airplane where the passengers sit. The cabin is divided into first class and tourist class areas made up of rows of seats. Also in the cabin are the overhead compartments where pillows and carry-on luggage go. The cabin is lined with windows so passengers can look out during the plane ride. The cabin light is just like a hallway light at home. It lights up the area below it. The cabin window lets passengers see outside the plane while they are flying. This way, they can see what it looks like flying high above the clouds. Cars are a handy way to get from one place to another. They come in lots of different shapes and colors. Some small cars can only carry two people. Big cars have room for several people. Cars can also carry luggage, groceries, or boxes in the trunk. Another word for car is automobile. Car rental companies have many kinds of cars that they rent to people. This means people pay to use the car for a while. When a person is done using the car, they give it back to the car rental company and someone else can rent it. The trunk is a roomy place in a car, usually in the back, for holding things. An extra tire, called a spare, is usually found in the trunk in case the car gets a flat tire. Luggage, boxes, shopping bags, and groceries are often carried in the trunk of a car. The cargo hatch is the door to the storage area under the plane. Luggage and other large items that are stored during the trip are placed on the plane through the cargo hatch. Luggage that is unloaded from the airplane is sent to the baggage claim area, 
where it comes out on the carousel. The carousel is big enough to hold lots of luggage. The carousel slowly goes around in a circle, carrying the luggage past all of the people. This way, people can easily find their suitcases. Carry-on baggage is any luggage or package that passengers carry with them onto the airplane. Sometimes, passengers like to keep their baggage with them. If the baggage is small enough, they can carry it onto the plane. The cash register is used to add up how much a customer buys. The cost of each item is entered into the cash register, and then a total comes up. This tells customers how much they must pay for the items they buy. Seaplanes can be used as commuter planes. The Cessna single-engine seaplane has a propeller in its nose that can let the plane reach speeds up to 185 miles per hour. The plane measures 27 feet from nose to tail and over 35 feet from wingtip to wingtip. It has seats for up to six passengers. A chain-link fence is made of heavy steel wire. It is used to keep people and animals out of certain places. Since it is not solid, it's easy to see what's on the other side of the fence. A chair is a type of seat with a back to lean against. Some chairs also have armrests on each side. Chalkboards are made from a smooth rock called slate. People write messages on the chalkboard with chalk, which comes from a soft powdery rock called limestone. The chalk can be erased easily, so chalkboards are good for leaving messages that people only need to see for a short time. Chalkboards are sometimes called blackboards. Charts are maps of routes or flight paths that airplanes fly. These are like imaginary roads in the sky. Charts are kept in the tower, and pilots carry charts as well. The clerk operates the cash register and runs the newsstand. People looking for a certain magazine or book can also ask the clerk for help. The clock lets people know what time it is. The clock has a face, which is the front of the clock with numbers on it and hands, which are the long bars that point at the numbers. The big hand on the clock is the longest one, and it tells the minutes. The little hand lets us know the hour. A closet is a small room where things can be stored until they are needed. The closet in an airplane is used to hang passengers' coats and store some of their carry-on luggage. Clouds are tiny drops of water or ice that stay together in the sky. The drops are so Clouds are tiny drops of water or ice that stay together in the sky. The drops are so small that they aren't heavy enough to fall from the clouds. When they grow bigger and heavier, the drops fall as rain or snow. When water freezes around falling snow, the snow turns into hail. The cockpit is the place in the airplane where the pilot and co-pilot sit to fly the plane. In the cockpit is the flight deck, a panel of dials, switches, and controls that are used to fly the plane. Coffee is a drink made from coffee beans, the seeds of coffee plants. Coffee is a dark brown color, like the beans. Many grown-ups drink coffee. It is usually served hot, but can also be served iced or cold. There are many different types of planes in an airport. Although there are smaller commuter planes for short trips, most passengers go to the airport to ride commercial jets. These planes can hold a hundred or more people and can go hundreds or thousands of miles without having to get more fuel. Because of their size and the equipment they need when on the ground, Commercial jets cannot land at small airports. When passengers want to take a short trip, it is often better to use small commuter planes instead of commercial jets. Being smaller, commuter planes use a lot less fuel and can use almost any airport. Commuter planes usually carry no more than 50 people. These planes can be small jet planes or planes with propellers.
A compass is an instrument used to show direction. On the face of the compass are printed four directions, north, south, east, and west. A pointer, called a needle, floats in a liquid inside the compass. The needle is magnetic, and it always points north. When you turn the compass so the needle lines up with north on the face, you can then see where south, east, and west are. Computers hold lots of information, or data, in their memory. People can put new information in a computer, organize it, save it, and find it again whenever they want. Computers are used in companies, in schools, and at home for work, fun, and learning. Games are especially fun to play on the computer. The Concorde is a commercial jet, often used for flights across the Atlantic Ocean. From nose to tail, it is over 203 feet long. And from wingtip to wingtip, it measures 83 feet. Its powerful engines can run the plane faster than the speed of sound. In fact, it can go up to 1,354 miles per hour, more than twice the speed of sound. One reason it can do this is the special drop nose that the Concorde has. The cabin holds from 128 to 144 passengers, depending on how the seats are arranged. The control tower is where the air traffic controllers work. They are the people that tell the pilots which way to go when they're landing or taking off from the airport. The control tower is always up high at the airport, and it always has windows on all sides. This way, the people working inside can easily see where all the airplanes are. The pilot uses the control yoke to fly the plane. The control yoke is used to adjust the ailerons, tilting the plane to the right or left, and the elevators, which move the plane up or down. Conveyor belts are used for moving things over a short distance. Since the ends of the belt are connected, it loops around and doesn't stop unless the power is shut off. At the airport, conveyor belts are used to move the luggage from the ground up to the plane. When the luggage is loaded, the conveyor can be moved out of the way, so the plane can take off safely. A conveyor belt also carries baggage through the x-ray machine and into the baggage claim area. The co-pilot shares the work of flying the plane with the pilot. A crate is a heavy-duty box made of long, thin wooden slats. Crates come in many sizes and are often used to hold big items, like furniture. A crosswalk is a special lane marked across a road that shows the best place to cross the street. When people are in the crosswalk, cars and other vehicles must stop. This rule helps people walk safely to the other side of the street. People who walk on sidewalks and across crosswalks are called pedestrians. A cupboard is a place to store things. Cupboards have shelves and doors, so that the things don't fall out when the plane moves. A curb is the edge of the sidewalk, where the sidewalk meets the street. When passengers are dropped off at the airport, it's handy to check in at curbside check-in. They can check their baggage so they don't have to carry it with them through the airport. They can also check in for their flight. Behind every airline ticket counter is the customer service agent. This person can sell tickets, check in luggage, arrange for seating, and look up information on other flights. The McDonnell Douglas DC-10 is a commercial jet. It is over 181 feet long from nose to tail and measures 155 feet from wingtip to wingtip. Its engines can keep the plane flying as fast as 575 miles per hour. Depending on how the cabin seats are put in, the DC-10 can handle from 274 to 380 passengers. A desk looks a lot like a table. In fact, tables are often used as simple desks. Both have flat tops and legs that hold the top off the ground. A true desk will also have drawers or compartments to store papers, pens, or other things used for writing. 
A dock is a walkway that goes from the shore out over the water. Seaplanes park at the dock so that passengers can get on and off without getting wet. A dock is also called a wharf or a pier. People often take their dogs with them on trips, even to the airport. When dogs or other animals travel by airplane, they ride in a special container called a pet carrier. This container keeps them safe and comfortable during the flight. Donuts are sweet ring-shaped treats eaten for breakfast or for a snack. They go well with a glass of cold milk. The door latch is used to open the door and to close and lock it. The Concorde has a drop nose that is specially designed to cut through the air at high speeds. Since the Concorde flies faster than the speed of sound, this nose design is very important. The pilot lowers the nose when it is time to land, so he can see better. Ducks are birds that can swim. They have webbed feet to help them swim and dive for food. Their bodies are covered with lots of soft feathers to keep them warm and dry when they swim in cold lakes and ponds. Ducks usually have large flat bills too and short legs. We often call them both ducks, but really only the female is a duck. The male is called a drake. A duffel bag is a cloth suitcase shaped like a tube. Duffel bags come in all sizes, but most have a shoulder strap for easy carrying. The dumpster is a very large garbage can. The galley service truck puts all the garbage they take off the plane in here. When the garbage truck comes by, it only has to empty the dumpster instead of a lot of smaller containers. Elevators are movable flaps on the tail of the plane. The pilot uses them to control the airplane's pitch. The pitch is the up or down direction of the plane. When the elevators are raised, the plane tilts up and climbs higher in the air. When they are lowered, the plane points down and flies lower. The elevators are kept flat when the pilot wants to fly level with the ground. An escalator is a stairway that moves, but only in one direction. When people want to go upstairs, they ride the up escalator. If they want to go downstairs, they have to ride the down escalator. The escape chute is used to get passengers out of the plane quickly and safely in case of an emergency. The chute inflates or fills up with air and the passengers slide down the chute to the ground below. The fin stands straight up from the top of the tail. It helps keep the plane stable and steady while it is flying. The rudder, which helps the pilot turn the plane to the left or right, is on the back of the fin. Fire extinguishers are used to put out fires. They are portable, which means they can be moved easily from one place to another. Most fire extinguishers have special chemicals inside, which help put out or extinguish fires. Fire extinguishers are used to put out fires. They are portable, which means they can be moved easily from one place to another. Most fire extinguishers have special chemicals inside, which help put out or extinguish fires. 